What's up, Finding Your Purpose fans and Design for Purpose fans as well? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's good. As I said before, I hope the start of the new year is treating you just how you want it. Well, with that being said, like I always do, I want to remind people to please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. That way we can get to the goodies once I get to a thousand and above subscribers, we can do so. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell too. That way you'll know when I post new content because I also post things like what I shopped for, what I got for the kids, you know, what we eat, things that other people like to see. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. So, if you haven't done so, like I said, please subscribe, share, like, all this good stuff. And let's get going. Well, I wanted to come on real quick and talk about the story that has been bothering me. Um, it's fairly new, and all I'm going to say is people don't play with people's emotions because people are not stable in today's society. They're not. And in case you don't know, I'm talking about the story of Ikea Hood. Now, the way they have her name spelled, like, in the story is Ikea. So if I'm saying the name wrong, you feel free to correct me. Uh, <clears throat> but yes, um, supposedly she, uh, she was 17 dating this other 17 year old and she got pregnant and you know the, supposedly they were going strong but you know the story is kind of iffy in some parts because people are saying different things but apparently um, she had to her boyfriend that you know he was the father of her daughter and supposedly he was all happy and you know joyful about it and then she came back and said wait you're not the father and then he, of course, got upset like anybody else would. And supposedly he went over to her house to talk to her about it. Her mom says she heard a noise. She went in, she went and tried to open the door. She couldn't, it was locked. She went to, um, she went outside to try to see if she can get through the window. When she got to the window, she saw that the screen was, you know, laid to the side and open. She got in there and seen her daughter, Ikea, was suffering from a gunshot wound. So she called 911 and they did all the procedures they could do. And she lost her life. Now, allegedly, because, you know, we weren't there, so we don't know if she really said this or not. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I got to keep my drink. That way I don't cough, you know, during the live or anything. Now, as I said, allegedly, she 
said, you know, he wasn't. And then he snapped. No, I do not. One single bit condone what he done. No, I don't. But if it is true, that's why I say people don't play with people's feelings. Because, you know, you go through a lot of emotions. Like, okay, you find out, yeah, you know, I'm I'm about to have a child. You know, you who knows? He, he probably was scared, you know, with them being 17, you know, they're young. So, you know, he probably was like, oh, scared, excited, all of that in one. And then there comes acceptance. And then... All of a sudden, you come and tell me, no, I'm not the father of your child. Like, then you go through another row of emotions, sadness, anger, betrayal, sometimes hatred. And, you know, young people today, they are not... uh, some of the young people, I'm not going to say all, oh, some of the young people today are not good at accepting things that make them feel wronged. Instead of him like, okay, you know, being mad about it, but, you know, going on about his business, you go away, your way, I'll go mine. He acted in a fit of rage and ended up taking her life. Now, her daughter, who she had just given birth to three three weeks prior to this happening, has to grow up without a mother. And to me, like I said, no. I don't condone anything that he has done. But at the same time, I I wish she could have found a better way, you know, to tell him. Maybe a safer way, you know, because... Nowadays, you never know how somebody's going to react, especially to news like that. One minute, you're on a high. The next, you're on a low. Like, And you never know how someone's going to accept that. So, you know, I just was really bothered because, one, they're both so young. You know, and now there's a three-week-old baby without parents. Because if if he wasn't the father, who knows if if the baby's biological is going to step up. You know, you just don't... You just don't know. And I feel so sorry for her family, you know. They're distraught as, you know, any family would be. They are looking for answers. You know, it's just, it's awful. And to have some of his friends come out and say, well... You you shouldn't have played with my homeboy's feelings. You shouldn't have done this and that. Were you guys there? Do you know exactly what went down? Or are you just going off of what you heard? I mean, I don't know. It's a very odd story. And it's not really too much to go off of 
But if I could give any advice, it would just be make sure, you know, if you're going to tell someone that, be sure that it's correct. Because you never know how people are going to react. You never know where their mind state is, you know, and it's too, it's sad. They weren't even adults yet if if you want to get technical, you know, and it's just awful. And then you have people speaking their minds, you know, like, you shouldn't have done this. I don't, I don't feel sorry for you. You know, you, you shouldn't have um, played with my homeboy's feelings. Come on. You, you don't post shit like that. I don't, I don't care how you feel. Some things are better left unsaid. And that was not, in my opinion, that was not needed. You didn't have to post that for everyone to see how you felt. To me, that's just blatant, downright disrespectful. Like, okay, even if she did say that, that still doesn't give him the right to take her life. It just, it doesn't. Nobody has the right to take anybody's life. The only way I could see taking someone's life is if it's self-defense or something. Say you're trying to defend yourself and, okay, it came to that. Because you do have a right to protect yourself. But this, you know, shit like this, okay, you lied, Okay, why couldn't you just go your way, she go hers, or if if you must be together, then accept that and be in the child's life still. If he, if he couldn't accept the fact of not being with her, then just accept the child as if she was his anyway. You didn't have to take her life. You did not have to take the mother's life. You didn't. It makes no sense. And for people, well, you shouldn't have done this to my homeboy. You shouldn't have done that. Two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. So, you know, like I said, that would be my piece of advice. If you're going to make statements like that, make sure that they are true. That way you will at least have some sort of direction of where their mind state could go. Because clearly, this young man just flipped and lost all his marbles. If, if, now, that's why I say if, allegedly, she said that. Now, if she really did say that, he lost all his marbles. And no, that, I don't condone that because there were plenty other avenues he could have took. And, you know, I think if she did, you know, say that, I think she should have talked to him around her family. Maybe they could have gave some sort of assistance or pushed him out the house when he started getting crazy or something like that. I don't know. But you guys, you let me know how you feel in the comments. And that way we can get this thing popping. You know, keep 
Ikea, his family, and your prayers, you know, her whole family, especially her young daughter who has to grow up without her. And the young man, he needs prayer too because obviously, you know, his mind isn't right. Yeah, so just keep them in keep them in your loving prayers and we'll see what transpires next. Hopefully he well, he is they do have him in custody. Um I don't know if it's gonna go to trial or anything yet. I'm not sure. I will I will keep you guys updated on that. But in the meantime, just keep her family in your prayers. And with that being said, guys, I love you all. And remember, we are all designed for our purpose. And therefore, we have, we all have a purpose. So if you have found it, stand in it. Don't let anyone pull you away from it. And if you haven't found it, it's okay. Keep searching. It's there no matter how big, how small. Remember, we all have a purpose. All right, you guys. Love you all. And I will catch you in the next episode.